Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> My friends, welcome to the George Washington National Forest in the Shenandoah Valley. I guess you could call this the Stokesville area. Haven't seen anything with a sign that says Stokesville, but I think this is it. The Ritmo was getting mighty creaky and clunky after that day at Bryce Bike Park. Just that fine dust pushing its way in. And you know how the bike park is. It's just everything gets rattled and moved and abused. I did a little wipe down with my spray bottle of uh, Dawn dish soap and just tried to get into the cracks and the crevices to make everything a little bit nicer. Holy moly, I didn't know my van was so small. How do you even get this thing up and down these roads? Yeah, you gotta definitely turn wide. It's, it's sort of like, I, I, it's the killer whale, I call it. So today's special guest, Jeremiah Bishop, two-time national champion mountain biker, co-founder of the Impossible Routes. So really excited about today. Uh, the leaves aren't fully in, really good views above 4,000 feet. We're gonna drop down uh, Dark Star, um, Dark Star or Death Star, one of the two big downhills into West Virginia. They have the Star Wars inspired name because the Sugar Grove Naval Installation has these two football field wide radar dishes. So you're like bombing down and you know, that's the inspiration for the local name. Then we're gonna climb back up, go out onto Flagpole uh, and then drop down the Cliff Trail, which has gotten a ton of rock work. It's spicy. It's a little more mass nut esque with these sandstone slabs. Um, nice moves. It's quite technical, um, but it is just, you know, backcountry goodness. It's the kind of stuff that you can't hit with a lift. You just have to do a little bit of work, but it is so worth it. So I'm hoping today is a possible route. We're not doing anything <laughs> impossible, fully possible. It is very, very possible. <laughs> very possible. You just don't want to get hurt, that's all, because it's out there. Why would an area like this have so many trails? Close to 800 miles of trails in George and Jefferson National Forest. And really, you know, it's not like Bentonville where we've got the money to, to pay for it. Literally, we owe the Great Depression a bit of that trail building. And so several of the big CCC camps during Roosevelt's New Deal were set up in this area. And there was extensive public works, road building, bridge building, dam building, but a part of it built the Shenandoah Mountain Trail, which we'll cross. And it's like a 50 mile long trail. 50 miles of single track is not easy to build by hand. Um, and that's just one example of the many well-built trails. And the CCC really was probably one of the first efforts at sustainable trail building. They had some you know, good practice of building crib walls, uh, using the slope. Um, the stuff that we'll ride today is actually completely the opposite. It's abandoned logging. So a logging road gets abandoned and hey, you know, let's uh, close it in a little bit, reclaim it, and just really amazing single track. I think the bottom of cliff will probably be uh, CCC era, I believe. So if you haven't checked out the Impossible Routes on YouTube, it's Jeremiah Bishop and Tyler Pierce, the vegan cyclist, taking on some really hairy stuff <laughs> and the first episode just came out a few weeks ago getting tons of views people are loving it episode zero came out maybe a little while back but that was mount Achaia, trying to go from zero sea level to 14,000 feet at the top and yep that's crazy too so this guy's got a ton more ideas for impossible routes so yeah, go man. over check them out make sure you follow on youtube and instagram and He's been telling me about his next adventure. Sounds really cool. So tell me about the Trans-Appalachia Lost right. Roads, yeah. episode two. So Trans-Appalachia Lost Roads is, I mean, it's kind of the brainchild of COVID last year. It's this crazy, um, you know, lull in racing. I, we had done the Impossible Route Mauna Kea. I know we wanted to do a series and do some more. Um, but during the summer, I did this big expedition route called the Kraken, which basically goes to the highest point in West Virginia and back from my house. You know, and it was just mind blowing, just a sea of mountains. Well, I stumbled upon this road, this lost road. And this is an old wagon road with Civil War history, 
uh, wagon trains getting robbed full of silver. I mean, like all kinds of just stories. Um, but the route itself was an engineering marvel uh, to build a road that didn't go over 7% grade through the rugged interior of Virginia and West Virginia. And, you know, wolves and mountain lions and just, it was even more crazy back then. We're gonna be up against some challenge. Of course, you know, a vegan riding through West Virginia is uh, probably right up there with like a, a cat trying to swim across a tank full of sharks. You know, it's, it's kind of like a complete challenge. Total unknown, but we'll be able to find uh, some food. I'm hoping we'll be able to get some mail drops from fans at one of the three locations we'll stop at. <laughs> right, let's ride down some trail. <laughs> ah, should be, should be super fun. Yeah, so this upper section, not even really a trail. It's kind of just, nope. up, you know, access. And then it gets really nice once we clear this first little bit. All right, where are you, trail? <laughs> Hello, Trail, where are you? <laughs> trail Whisperer. There she is. <laughs> Obviously. Yeah. No, I meant it when I said backcountry. I mean backcountry. Hello, flowers. <laughs> this is the part I was talking about where you're like, yeah. Hello. Beautiful. Hello, nature. This is also the part where you'll see me really respect our proximity to medical services. So I'm taking pretty, pretty cautious back here. <laughs> oh yeah, obviously. <laughs> I have the asterisk, like pretty good for a cross country bike. Yeah. All right, so here's, I see the ride around. <laughs> With the mega, mega drop in. I'm gonna drop down to this other side. Oh, okay, that, yeah. Yeah, it's not bad. Whoa. Nice. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Almost got away from me. It's a really sweet transition. It's fun watching the guys ride it. Yeah. But, oh, me with my 40 year old dad mode. <laughs> I think I'll save this for a bigger bike. Come look at this upper section. Oh, isn't that beautiful? It is. You know, I should just get you a pose up there, like you're riding <laughs> it, you know, just kind of. Freeze frame. Yeah. But look at this. And the sound that this yeah. makes is just uncommon. Oh yeah, I yeah. see it. <laughs> wow. You guys can see about as much as I can. <laughs> hard right. Oh, really hard right. <laughs> oh yeah. It's like I forgot where the trail even goes. Hey, the brakes are feeling good today. I did that thing where you make the lever go out a little bit further. Now they're feeling responsive. I forgot how much I love this stuff. This is cool. I have to get out on the trail more. Ha! Wow! Ooh, thank you for cutting that log out. Ah, brake pad burning all day long. Nope, missed it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> wow, you got a good eye. Just some good old country stuff. Woo! <laughs> Whoa, I got the handlebar <laughs> touch on that. Oh. I uh, definitely almost <laughs> lost my into the roots. 
Grip has been good, surprisingly. Woo. Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> 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 the old logging road. <laughs> Just give it 200 years and it makes for a great mountain bike trail. There, this trail's hard to see. It's like going completely full gas to a dark Whoop. closet. You could hit a compressor oh. or <laughs> oh. baseball bat or who knows what's in there underneath the green. All right. <laughs> Trail in. Ah, oh, that was pretty fun. That's cool. <laughs> I think it's that way. I see something right here as well, but it it's might been be a, a long little tighter. Time. Oh yeah, time to cool off. <laughs> 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 it's slick under there. <laughs> yeah. Whetstone. How did you find mountain biking? Ah, uh, you know, as a kid, just growing up in a troubled neighborhood, uh, welfare upbringing, you know, in Baltimore County, and kids found bikes in our neighborhood. I never looked back. You know, I really found a, an outlet for all my energy, and we kind of had two, two convergent or divergent groups in our neighborhood. Some that ended up getting arrested and going to jail, you know, and I was hanging around with some bad influence, and then I found cycling and I mean so many people you meet in cycling are just phenomenal just great great people um, energetic outgoing happy <laughs> and like you know I think it's through the lens of doing all this uh, hard work that you develop yourself you really develop your your knack for life your zeal for adventure and your passion for exploration and ultimately you know, some of my mentors that helped me out to get into the sport that have me now on the other side of it, giving back and, you know, doing community events and doing uh, work with youth, you know, with NICA. I'm on the honorary board with NICA, helped start the Virginia Mountain Bike um, Series. And yeah, just those things are just so fun to pass on. And yeah, sport's been really good to me and fun to just Pass it forward. Yeah, I started racing pretty early on, and I was I was ADD in high school, man. I tell you, I had my head out the window of the school. I was always looking outside and like thinking where I'm going to ride next and what we're going to go do. And you know, I got advanced placement for Maryland Institute of Art, and I was like starting to get good at racing, winning the state championships and winning the like regional championships and. You know, found out you can make a living racing bikes. I was like, that is what I want to do. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, gone much better than I could have expected. You know, it's been really a phenomenal ride. And I've been able to see 30 different countries, meet tens of thousands of people, and, you know, really grow as a person. So it's been, it's been one hell of a ride, man. Man, hearing you talk about these impossible routes and all these big rides you do, oh, it just makes me want to get more fit. Ha! And I hear that you have a training program. I do have several training programs, Brian. In fact, you can check them out on trainingpeaks.com. Nice. Search under author. So, Jeremiah Bishop. <laughs> yeah, really though, it's like, um, you know, there's some simple and really uh, basic methods to get faster. And, and by doing targeted work, you know, really cuts down on the amount of time you need to get into shape. And so ultimately, like, a lot of people are busy, you know? They got a limited amount of time to train. So being able to knock out some good strength conditioning, good sprint work, good threshold work, allows them to go on their vacation or go to BC Bike Race ready, ready yeah. to rock, ready to have fun, and to feel like they're really in the right place and prepared. That's great. Oh, he's going to attack it. Nice. <laughs> All right. Multi-use. Oh, yes. Multi-use. <laughs> Extreme here. Look at this guy. Yeah. Nice. Howdy. Woohoo! <laughs> Whoa. He's 
like you guys are crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Again, we're in the jungle looking for the trail. Now, this one's going to be a little bit more worn in. Yeah. But beware snakes in the grass. Okay. You wake them up. Yeah. I make I'll them angry. Them. I'll wake them up and shake them. Yo! Yeah. Rocky loam. If there is such a thing, we're on it. Yo! A little bit of trail clearing. <laughs> Feels like you're going twice as fast when you can't see. The tunnel. <laughs> I did a coat of permethrin. Oh yeah. On my shoes and my shorts, knee pads. Should knock the ticks out on contact. And they say it's good for five or six washes. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh, you can yeah. sneak up on a bear oh, back face. here very easily. Yeah. <laughs> sure you didn't want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, the best part is when you're going through the car wash, you can't even see the rock until you're like coming up on it. <laughs> yeah, it opens up a little more once we get farther down. The top section could use some brushing. Yeah, this one's kind of kind of got some fun features. Again, I'm underbiked. Yeah, but that is sort of the story of my life. Hey. Bring a knife to a gunfight. Yeah. You know, if you can walk out and it's. If it takes you down a couple notches, it means yeah. I'm that much closer. <laughs> yeah, if there's no crashes, I'm gonna be good with it. Yeah. Yeah, there's a couple really cool features. Cliff Trail is this off camber, south facing uh, rock roller coaster that has been just given some real love in the past uh, two years. And Sam Skidmore's led up a good charge to sort of improve this sucker for bikes and, and just make it a little bit more rideable. There were some huge gaps, but you'll be able to see some rock magic. Safety first, showing off second. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Full body, oh. though. Definitely. Full body. On your toes, ready to rock. Oh, oh yeah. Oh. <laughs> And that sound is just so, so good. Music to my ears. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Oh. Woo. Oh. Knife edge. <laughs> oh, what a beat down. <laughs> I call that goat track. Yeah. Nice. Up, 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 up. <laughs> oh. Oh. Dang it. <laughs> Who put that rock there? <laughs> it's just one tiny pedal oh. clipper, but you yeah. can take a little second to enjoy the, yeah. the vastness of that little river valley below. Wow. This trail is really perched on the side of the mountain. And yeah. it's, uh, some sections are just, I mean, they're changing by the day. Yeah. This is an active like scree field. So totally. some of these rocks will just fall in and you're like, oh, new obstacle. I can't insult Sam by walking it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come I back. gotta, yeah. gotta get it. Man, this one little rock. I, oh, it's just, <laughs> it's always the tiniest thing that gets you, you know? Oh, I did it again. Oh. Oh. There we go. I think that was oh, the yeah. first time I cleaned that section. Yeah. Well done. Oh, man. Whoa. Sponsored by knee pads. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm really wishing I had some knee pads right now, dude. <laughs> Thinking of my nakedness, the nakedness of my knees. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Yeah, make sure. Got, I check off my balance uh, exercises today for sure. Yeah. 
Ah, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, you got it. You oh, got it. Oh, 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 oh. We got it. Yes, yes. Oh, man. Oh. I was so ready to give up. I'm glad you kept rolling. Oh. Wow. Oh, that's nice. scary. Oh. Oh. <laughs> so that section also, they did a little tightening up. Never made that before. Oh, man. First time. Super pumped to make that. Oh. The old one percenter trail. Uh huh. 99% uh -huh. would hate. <laughs> oh. 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 I love it. Oh. Oh. My bike's trying Holy to crap. give me a sign that <laughs> I'm working it too hard. Shut up, bike. Oh, oh yeah. Nice. Oh. Grandma's dinner plates. Sorry, Grandma. Oh. Oh. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh, it just keeps going. Nice view to the right. Not that I'm looking. 100% wow. concentration here. This is continuous. Yeah, this is like just genius right here. Uh, so cool. Oh. What in the world? Yeah, 120 fork on the front here. <laughs> I'm not working with a lot, but <laughs> so far so good. Woo, woo. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was close. A rest break. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Nice chance to breathe there for Two a second. seconds. I've never ridden anything this continuous. Yeah, it's like definitely intense. Oh. The never ending gnarly. Oh, oh. oh it's so, so rewarding when you get it though. Yeah. Like, kind of get that rhythm going. Ha! The rest area. <laughs> oh. Shake the hands off for round yeah. two. <sighs> yeah. There's some pointy ones in there. Pointy boys. Yeah. Oh man. Oh, challenge yeah. after challenge. After challenge. Feels like the longest downhill. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. 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 <laughs> I had it. I knew there would be. And then I didn't. Oh. Well, this is the tricky part. Okay. I mean, that's tricky too. This whole trail's tricky. There's this one little move here. Okay. Okay. There's a pinch there. Oh. I think you'll get it. Okay. I promise. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> you get it. Yeah. So. Up to that point. Oh, maniacal. Yeah. This is the straight up. This is the chokehold right here. <sighs> It's like you can't generate oh, enough speed and slicer. power to get it going through. Supposedly oh. that's rideable. Oh yeah. I have no idea how he gets through that, but <sighs> Sam supposedly rode that. Oh yeah. It's possible. On the unicycle. Yeah. <sighs> oh yeah. Quick peek. <sighs> <laughs> Gotta stop here for a second. <laughs> can't, can't miss out on this view. <laughs> this is a killer technique spot called oh. Lover's Leap. Okay. So, we're oh. still have some. A long way to go. Yeah. Yeah. I still got some moves for old man. Got a few moves. A little more safety minded, but. Oh yeah, Pisgah, baby Pisgah. 
Yeah. A little far look ass. Ooh. Yeah. I just did that for the first time. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that. It's, it's kind of like just so blown out. You're like, man, it could be a nice trail here, but there's not. I don't know. Nice. Ooh, yeah. Come on, little XC bike. Come on, baby. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry to hold you up there. Uh, you're not. <laughs> we are a perfect duo. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't believe this. This is has to be the most gnarly non-stop trail I've ever ridden. So badass. You get <laughs> you get little bits and pieces like this. <laughs> this is endurance downhill. Feels like we've been going for an hour. <laughs> Mega avalanche, baby. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. What the, what in the <laughs> world? <sighs> That's your hand pump training. Cliff Four trail. Arms check. <laughs> How has no, oh no, no one ever told me about that? <laughs> Holy yeah, moly. This is my favorite trail around here. It's too fun. <laughs> so good. One of those trails like you just cannot think about anything else uh, or you will crash. Yeah. So I hear you're gonna throw a party in September. Is that coming together after COVID and everything? Yeah, man, you know, you can't stop a good party. Um, yeah, we've got Alpine Loop Grand Fondo number 10. So this big rollicking festival of bicycles is back on. Uh, we're probably gonna have some wave starts or some sort of uh, regulations that we have to work around with the city of Harrisonburg, but it's a phenomenal chance to end of the season, do this big blowout, huge ride with 600 people, phenomenal food. Gravel ride. Lots of climbing, road and gravel. We've got basically three routes, a 30 mile, sort of a 75 mile. We had uh, last year paved 100 mile route. We'll see, you know, what we're able to squeeze in with such short notice, but uh, it's always been a highlight of the season, just a, a great reason to get out and socialize. Um, and with only time sections, you kind of really get to have fun you know, it's kind of like an enduro meets road riding. So if that doesn't tell you what we're up to. <laughs> awesome. A fine day in the George Washington National Forest. Amazing. I just love these surprises, meeting great people, riding great trails. That's what this is all about. So do me a favor, go ride something new and maybe I'll see you on the trail.